This Sell Like Hell AI voice agent closes deals 24 seven and makes over $50,000 per month. You get to create many AI voice agents with any personality, tone, or language you want, and even sell them as your own. This is Susan from Awaz AI. How's it going today? Namaste. I'm talking from Horizon Estates. How are you today? Hola, soy Alba de Novotech Solution. ¿Cómo estás hoy? It's Mike from the partnerships team at Convertly. How's it going? 안녕하세요. 저는 저는 Heavenly Events의 정입니다. 오늘 기분은 어떠세요? It schedules appointments, books demos, closes leads, and clients pay $500 a month just to use it. And today, I'll show you how to build your own sell like hell voice agent with Awaz AI. Ready to build your revenue generating voice agent? Let's dive in. In this video, you'll learn how to design a high converting AI voice agent that knows exactly how to book demos, qualify leads, or close deals automatically. Rent out this voice agent for $500 a month, again and again, building a hands-free recurring income stream. And make this agent sell your services 24 seven, like a nonstop digital closer, so you can stop chasing leads and start closing them. So let's get started. In this step, you'll define exactly what your AI voice agent is meant to achieve and who it's built to serve. Before you build anything, you need to define a clear outcome for your AI voice agent. Is your goal to book demos, qualify leads, or close actual sales? Every script and prompt you write should work toward that one goal. Nothing random, nothing generic. Next, choose your niche. Is this agent for real estate leads, e-commerce follow-ups, SaaS free trials? The more focused your vertical, the more convincing and effective your voice agent becomes. Now that your objective is clear, it's time to engineer your prompts for maximum conversions. This means structuring, styling, and testing your AI agent's dialogue so it closes deals. Start by dividing your script into logical parts. Greet the lead, ask qualifying questions, handle objections, and end with a strong call to action. Breaking it down this way keeps the conversation focused and flowing naturally. For example, a clear greeting builds trust immediately. Qualification questions gather useful context. Objection handling keeps, leads engaged, and your call to action drives results. Structure turns a basic bot into a persuasive voice rep. Next, give the AI some context, who it is, who it's talking to, and what the goal is. A simple paragraph helps the AI stay in character. You can also add one or two sample dialogues to anchor the tone. This upfront context makes responses more consistent and human-like. After structuring your prompt, the next step is context. This gives your AI a clear role to play, just like an actor with a script. Let's talk about context. When you give your AI agent a role, who it is, who it's talking to, and what the goal is, the dialogue becomes more natural and persuasive. Then add one to two sample dialogues. It's best to include a sample response for every lead reaction, positive, neutral, and negative. This shows the AI how to sound, friendly, helpful, persuasive, and what a great response looks like. For example, with a high intent buyer, the AI leans in, gathers details, and pushes toward booking. For a neutral tone, keep it low pressure but supportive. Don't lose the lead, guide gently. And when the lead responds negatively, don't push. Reassure and offer a next step. Empathy keeps the conversation alive. When you provide a clear role, tone, and real examples, your AI doesn't just guess what to say, it knows how to sell like your best agent. To get the most consistent and clear responses from your AI, use markdown formatting in your prompts. Headings organize your script into distinct parts. Bullet lists break down tasks or instructions step by step. This structured approach helps the AI understand exactly what you want, making your voice agent sound sharper, more natural, and easier to manage. Great prompts don't happen overnight. They're built through testing and iteration. Start by creating multiple versions of your agent's prompt. Try different opening lines, ways to handle objections, or variations of your closing offer. A and B test these changes to see what works. Which version leads to longer conversations, more bookings, or faster conversions? Hi, Drisha. This is Timothy from Apex Realty. How are you? I'm doing okay, thank you. 
Glad to hear that. Are you currently looking to buy, sell, or just exploring in the Phoenix area? Um, honestly, I've been browsing a lot, but I'm not really sure where to start. I'm not even sure if I can afford anything right now. Totally understandable, Drisha. Many first-time buyers feel the same way. Do you have a general budget range in mind, or would you like me to connect you with someone who can help explore your options? Uh, yeah, I think you can connect me with someone that might be helpful. Great. Would you prefer a free consultation this Thursday or Friday? Uh, yeah, this Friday works for me. Perfect. And I'll arrange a consultation for you this Friday. Let me confirm everything and get back to you shortly. Hi, Drisha. This is Timothy from Apex Realty. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing okay. Thank you. Glad to hear that. Are you still house hunting in Phoenix? Um, I was, but I'm not really interested at the moment. Got it. No problem at all. If you ever need help in the future, feel free to reach out. Take care. You don't need advanced tools to get started. Just version different parts of the prompt directly inside a WAS and observe which one performs better. Once a few calls are live, review the call summaries. Is the user sentiment positive? Did they book a call? That's a strong signal to keep that version. But if a prompt leads to confusion or drop-offs, tweak and refine it. Now here's where rebuttals come in. Strong rebuttals turn hesitation into conversation. In a WAS, you can directly add these short, natural responses to your prompt, so your agent knows exactly what to say when a lead pushes back. The more real-world objections you prepare for, the better your results. Analyze how agents handle common objections and use built-in metrics like sentiment analysis, call outcome, call length, and appointment set rate to see what's working and what needs refining. So test often, add strong rebuttals, and keep tuning your script until it delivers. AWAS gives you full control over how your AI agents sound and behave, ensuring every conversation reflects your brand voice and drives better results. Set a clear agent role and objective to guide behavior and tailor every conversation to your goals. Start by clearly defining the agent's purpose. In the field labeled Agent's Objective, describe the job the AI is supposed to do, like this. Setting a defined goal gives the AI clarity on how to act in real time. Customize how your agent sounds, from voice speed to emotion, to match your brand's personality. This slider adjusts the emotional expressiveness of the agent. Slide it toward emotional for warmth and empathy. It's great for real estate or healthcare, or keep it calm for more transactional roles. For voice speed, volume, and responsiveness, fine-tune the delivery to match your audience. Speed, use slower speech for complex or emotional topics. Volume, mid to high for confident outreach, softer for reassurance. Responsiveness, a higher setting makes the agent quicker and more interactive in natural conversation. Use interruption sensitivity to control how easily the AI yields to the user mid-sentence. High equals more interruption-friendly, useful for casual sales chats. Enabling the back channel allows the AI to use small affirmations like, uh-huh, or got it, improving flow and realism. Set how long the AI should wait after a lead goes quiet before ending the call. For example, 30 seconds is a good default. In a WAS, you can control who speaks first in the conversation. You can set it so the AI starts the call with a greeting or the user initiates, and the AI waits to respond. You also have response guidelines, which are built-in logic rules that guide how the AI handles things like transcription errors, sticking to its role, and keeping conversations smooth. Style guardrails shape the tone of voice, making sure the AI stays concise, conversational, and emotionally aware throughout the call. Here's a tip. Don't forget to add a custom greeting using the user's first name to personalize the intro and make the AI sound more human right from the start. Easily localize your agent by switching languages or accents without rebuilding your prompt. Quickly make your agent multilingual by duplicating the template and switching the language and voice or accent. For example, create a Spanish-speaking version of Timothy by setting language to Spanish and selecting the suitable voice for it. This is perfect for scaling to new regions without rebuilding prompt logic. In this section, we'll explore how to power up your AI agent with technical actions and integrations, enabling it to follow up schedule, trigger webhooks, and fetch real-time data. Follow-up actions keep the momentum going after your AI interacts with a lead. 
Whether it's sending a personalized SMS, scheduling a callback, or triggering a webhook, these ensure your lead never goes cold. Let's configure an SMS. For example, you can trigger a summary message right before the call ends. Simply add your trigger, customize the message body, and you're done. Highlight the toggle for speak during or after execution. Or if a user asks to speak later, trigger a scheduled call by selecting a time zone and defining the condition, like user asks to call later. Want to trigger something in another app like Google Sheets, Zapier, or your CRM? Use the webhook action. You can define the post URL and JSON body right here. Scroll through fields like headers, body, and explain how to pass data using variables. Next, enable dynamic responses through knowledge base integration. This allows your agent to answer off script questions like pricing, product features, or terms using up to date content from your documentation. To get started, go to your dashboard, navigate to knowledge, and click on new knowledge base. Give it a name. Something like company FAQ or product documentation works great. Each knowledge base supports three types of entries. Click item, then select text. Enter a customer question. For example, what's your return policy? Then provide a specific answer you'd like the AI to respond with. File upload. Choose file, give it a title, and upload a document. The AI will scan and reference the content during conversations. Website URL. Select URL, click Add Website, and paste in a link. The system will crawl the site and make its content available for AI responses. This ensures your agent always has accurate contextual answers. Even when questions go off script, you can then head to your agent settings and find the knowledge base dropdown and select one or more previously created knowledge bases to assign. Your AI agent will now pull dynamic answers from both its freestyle prompt and the attached knowledge bases during conversations. Want to reuse an AI agent setup for multiple clients? Start by creating your agent from scratch, then save it as a reusable template. Head to the Agents section in your AWAS dashboard. Click on Plus New Agent, then choose Start from Scratch. This gives you full control to customize everything from the ground up. Once your agent is fully set up, head over to the top right corner of the Agent Settings tab. Click the checkmark icon to mark it as a template. When it turns green, it's active and ready to be reused. This makes your custom-built agent available as a template, ready to clone, edit, or resell to future clients with just a few clicks. To deliver a fully branded experience, you can white label the entire client dashboard, from the domain to the logo and color scheme. Head to settings and select white label. Under custom domain, enter the subdomain your clients will use, then upload your custom logo and favicon, and pick your brand colors to match your brand's theme. Update email templates and send customized emails using SendGrid by setting it up in integrations. So even automated emails carry your brand tone and design. Now, when your clients log in, they'll see your brand, not a WAS. It's your platform, your experience. Once your templates are ready and your portal is branded, it's time to monetize. Here are two proven models used by top agencies. Charge clients a recurring monthly fee to access your AI agent. A common price point is $497 per month, covering hosting, maintenance, and updates. Prefer upfront cash? Sell the fully branded agent for a fixed fee, say $2,000, and continue earning by retaining a share of their call transaction revenue. You can even license different templates for different niches, real estate, insurance, healthcare, each customized, each monetized separately. By following these five steps, you will create an AI voice agent that not only sells like hell, but also becomes a lucrative, reusable asset you can rent or flip repeatedly. Ready to build your own sell like hell voice agent? Start building, branding, and monetizing with AWAS today and turn every conversation into a conversion. Start your free AWAS trial today. You'll find the link in the description below. Need help getting set up? Head to our help center for step-by-step -step articles and video guides or chat with our live support team anytime. We're always here to help. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.